had a major setback in my life in 2015. I was going through a divorce, I had two young kids, um, and uh, I was hit head on on my motorcycle and uh, spent the next 40 days in the hospital. I had eight surgeries. I was given my last rites the first time, first day I was in there. And, you know, I look back on that now and it was, it was a blessing in my life because it opened up my eyes to the life that I was leading, the person who I thought I was supposed to be versus the person that I am. And I always say this in my story, there was a nurse that came and, uh, and approached me after I got it out of ICU after a week and a half after being given my last rites, but still being here. And she said, you know, we've had uh, people with less injuries not survive. You've been given a second chance at life. Don't waste it. And I didn't know what that meant at the time because I was, you know, pretty mangled up. I crushed the left side of my body. And all I was worried about was how am I going to get out of here? How am I going to provide for my kids? And so coming out of that was sort of my aha moment as I went through a two-year recovery period where I felt a calling to give back to the community, to be of service, and to um, look back over my life on, on the adversities and the ways that I handled situations and realized that there was so much more that um, could be given to these young athletes to show them, A, not just how to be a better athlete, but primarily how to be a better person.